Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this topic is magnetron. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. Draw and explain the constructional details of cavity magnetron or cylindrical magnetron or explain the working of magnetron and explain the phase focusing effect. As well as many times it is expected to write one condition that is called the cutoff condition which is applicable uh, for the magnetron. So this diagram shows the structure of magnetron. Actually this is the cross view section. Magnetron is having a cylindrical shape but as I said this is a cross sectional, uh, cross -sectional view. So at the center there is a cathode which emits number of electrons. It is surrounded by a different number of anodes. Output is taken out from one of the anode cavity. <clears throat> now, between the cathode and anode, there is a space. This is called space for interaction, where in that space, the motion of electrons uh, takes place. Now, these are anode cavities. So, eight anode cavities are shown. This part is called anode poles. As I said, between cathode and anode poles, there is a space which is called space for interaction. In this case, the electric field and magnetic field, I mean applied electric field is in radial direction. Magnetic field is perpendicular to this. So this is called cross coupled device. Now, motion of electron, as I said, this cathode emits electron. This motion of electron is affected by both electric and magnetic field. Whenever the magnetic field is zero, the motion of electron is along a straight line from cathode to anode. But in the presence of magnetic field, the bending of line takes place. That means whenever the electron starts moving from cathode to anode, the uh, direction of that motion gets bent. So due to this bending, curved paths are obtained and by making a curved path direction, the electrons are reaching from cathode to anode. <clears throat> so as shown in this diagram, the output is taken out from uh, one of the anode cavities. So this is about the construction and working of cavity or cylindrical uh, magnetron. There is one particular condition which is called Hull cutoff condition. It is given by B O C B is magnetic field condition. O C stands for cutoff condition is square root of 8 V0. V0 is the voltage applied between anode and cathode. M E is mass of electron. Q E charge of electron upon B in the bracket 1 minus A square by B square where A is the radius of a cathode. B is the distance between center of cathode to the edge of anode. So this is the equation of uh, BOC. As I said, BO is a uh, magnetic flux density and BO suffix OC stands for cutoff condition. So if you rearrange this equation, you can write it like this BOC into B 1 minus A square upon B square is equals to square root of 8 B 0 M E upon Q. <coughs> take square on uh, both sides to uh, vanish out the effect of the square root and I will interchange LHS and RHS so it can be written as 80ME upon Q is equals to this term I have already transferred to this side so it is BOC square B square 1 minus A square by B square bracket square what I did I have interchanged LHS and RHS and, have, and I have taken a square on both sides. So this becomes BOC square, B square and this bracket square, this square root gets vanished. So from this, V0 can be written as, again, uh, make some manipulation, mathematical manipulation. So transfer this Q at this RHS side. So Q, BOC square, B square, 1 minus A square by B square, bracket square. I want equation of uh, V0, so this uh, Q I have already transferred, it will be divided by 8 Me. <clears throat> so this is the equation <coughs> of the voltage. Under cutoff condition, the notation will be VOC, that is voltage for cutoff condition. So this particular condition is called Hull cutoff condition for the magnetron. Next, an important part is phase focusing effect. Actually, uh, we have studied uh, the 
bunching process in two cavity clastron as well as reflex clastron same type of bunching process takes place in case of magnetron as well so this diagram shows how the phase a uh, focusing effect takes place this is the cathode then it is surrounded by number of anodes which we have already discussed now there is a presence of both electric and magnetic field if electric field is zero in that case the motion of electron is similar to this path a in this case the electrons which are emitted by the cathode are returned back to the cathode so such electrons are called unfavored electrons because our requirement is that whatever electrons that are emitted from the cathode they should reach to the anode but if the electric field is zero in that case the electrons are returning back to the cathode so these are called unfavored electrons now consider another path of electron b in 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 this case the electric field is applied so electrons will move from cathode to anode let us say the electrons are following path similar to path b in that case there is a motion of electron right from cathode to anode now we discussed that there is there is a space between anode and cathode which is called interaction space so in in the interaction space due to motion of such electrons these electrons are called favored electrons that means the electrons which are following path b are favored electrons so <clears throat> due to the motion of these favored electrons in the interaction space the sustained oscillations are produced and it causes uh, the bunching process i mean it causes retardation of some electrons as well as acceleration of some electrons like the earlier case like the case of uh, two cavity clastron or reflex clastron because of which the bunching process takes place and this particular effect uh, causes the formation of cloud of electrons these cloud of electrons are rotating in anti clockwise direction around the cathode which is called the phase focusing effect now let us solve a numerical related to this magnetron the given question is a cylindrical magnetron has inner radius 0.15 meters this inner radius is denoted by notation small a <coughs> then outer radius is 0.45 uh, meters it is denoted by notation small b b0 that is magnetic flux density is 1.2 milliweber per meter square since it is in milliweber we need to convert it in terms of webers per meter square that is 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 this will be weber per meter square determine first part hull cut off voltage second part cut off flux density if the beam voltage is 6000 volt this beam voltage is denoted by notation v0 now this numerical is very much straightforward uh, you just have to memorize two formulae first formula is cut off voltage voc is given by q q is the charge of electron whose value is written over here it is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs so q upon 8 me me is mass of electron which is 9.11 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg then b0 square b0 is magnetic flux density which is given as 1.2 milliweber per meter square just now i explained you need to convert it in terms of weber per meter square so it is 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 then take square of this term b square b is 0.45 so 0.45 square in the bracket 1 minus a square a is 0.15 so 0.15 square upon 0.45 square if you solve this then the answer is voc is 5690.45 so this is the value of cutoff voltage second cutoff flux density that is denoted by voc this is the formula so square root of 8v0 me upon q v0 is 6000 volt so 8 into 6000 me this value upon q 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 divided by b in the bracket 1 minus a square by b square so these are the values of a and b if you solve this the answer is 1.3 milliwatt per meter square so this is the way to solve the numericals as far as this uh, magnetron i mean cylindrical magnetron uh, is concerned so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video